This is the Cholo News Report for Saturday 31, March, 2018. A roadside bomb in Syria kills one British and one U.S. soldier. Five more coalition personnel are injured. It is the first death of a British soldier fighting ISIL. An American was also killed by the roadside bomb in the northern Syrian city of Manbij on Thursday, which also wounded four members of the local council. A Ministry of Defence spokesperson said, It is with regret that we must confirm that a member of the UK armed forces was killed by an improvised explosive device in Syria yesterday. Turkey rejects France's offer to mediate in a conflict in neighbouring Syria. Turkey is battling to drive out the Kurdish YPG militia, which it sees as an extension of the banned Kurdistan Workers' Party. President Emmanuel Macron had met members of the Kurdish-dominated Syrian Democratic Forces, including the YPG and expressed hopes for dialogue between Turkey and the militia. His office said he had paid tribute to the sacrifices and the determining role of the SDF in the fight against the Islamic State group. On Land Day, the start of a planned six-week protest at the Israeli Gazan border involving tens of thousands of Palestinians, Israeli forces kill 16 Palestinians and wound over 1,100, as tens of thousands of violent protesters approach the border fence. 16 Palestinians were killed and some 1,100 were wounded by Israeli tear gas, rubber bullets and live fire in the Gaza Strip on Friday, the Hamas-run health ministry said as a series of massive protests along the security fence around the Hamas-controlled enclave intensified and turned violent. Witnesses said he was working his land near the border when the shells hit, but Hadoshot News reported that the army suspected the man had been trying to place an improvised explosive device near the security fence. Via social media, leaflets dropped from airplanes and statements to news outlets. Israeli officials had repeatedly warned Palestinians not to try to breach the security fence during the protests. Families brought their children to the encampments, just a few hundred meters, from the Israeli security barrier with the Hamas Islamist running clave, and football fields were marked in the sand and scout bands played. The military said its troops had used live fire only against people trying to sabotage the border security fence some of them rolling burning tires and throwing rocks, and that at least two of the dead were Hamas operatives. Stansted Airport in the United Kingdom is evacuated after a bus catches fire outside the main terminal. Flights are expected to resume at Stansted Airport on Saturday after a fire, on a passenger shuttle bus forced departures to be cancelled. Passengers described panic and confusion as the bus burst into flames on Friday afternoon belching thick black smoke that clouded much of the front of the terminal building. A hot air balloon hits a tree near Sydney, Australia, wounding 16. The balloon, carrying a pilot and 24 passengers, landed in a field in the Hunter Valley after hitting a eucalyptus tree. Injuries included suspected spinal damage and broken bones, but none were life-threatening, according to an ambulance official. Professional Ballooning Association of Australia spokesman Damien Crock said the circumstances of the crash would be investigated.